So Bird, we think, was born around 1540 into a well-to-do London family with strong connections to the commercial world. And as a young man, 23 years old, something like this, he gets his first appointment, which is in a provincial cathedral uh, in Lincoln uh, in 1563. So just a few years into the reign of Elizabeth I. And it's important to remember in relation to the Elizabethan musical arrangements that the Reformation was neither as immediate uh, nor as comprehensively dramatic as it's often portrayed. And so it was quite possible that in certain parts of the country where the old religion continued for a certain degree of Catholic observance to continue. So it was not the case that Byrd was immediately confronted with the requirement that he should compose for the Anglican Church or that he should somehow lose contact with his own religious beliefs and the musical traditions that came along with that. So he stays in Lincoln for uh, a little under 10 years and then he's appointed uh, to the Chapel Royal. He becomes a gentleman of the Chapel Royal in London in 1572. And it's there that he remains for just over 20 years. At that point, he moved. Uh, he'd been living at a place called Harlington, which is uh, close to Windsor, so it's west of London. And it's while he's there that Bird composes the three masses, one for three voices, one for four, and one for five. A very remarkable uh, thing for him to have done, even given his Catholic belief, uh, simply because uh, the question arises, who on earth would have been interested in the publication of these pieces, since Catholicism was forbidden uh, at the time, and according to the law, there would have been no possibility for the uh, performance of Catholic music during uh, the celebration of the Mass. At this point, Bird's career separates into two halves. He leaves London and he goes to live in Stondon Massey, an extremely small community in Essex, where again, as during his London years, he comes under the protection of a well-placed family. That family, the Peter family, also was uh, a Catholic family. And so the standard interpretation is that under the uh, keen and uh, enthusiastic eyes of the Peter family, Bird was able to continue to practice his religion and to continue to compose music for the Catholic rite. And that uh, includes not only the three mass settings, but also two books that come out. And these two books, the Gradualia, contain settings of the major celebratory occasions as they occurred in the traditional Catholic calendar that was celebrated throughout Europe. And so again, the question arises in relation to this, uh, who would have performed these pieces and would it be understood to anyone outside uh, devout Catholics exactly how you can rearrange them, which is what you have to do, in order to get the correct chronological spread of how they were to be formed in the course of the church year. Oh, oh. 